Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be doing water mills from Industrial Craft that are automatically filled with buckets by Red Power 2. We'll be using a retriever which requires Blutricity so you will need some Blutricity power. Uh, so let's get started. First you make a path for your Blutricity wire and then you dig out one, two, three and one, two, three and then you're going to need one here at the bottom and for however many water mills you want to a minimum of two you will need to dig out in this direction one two three four five six we'll do six for today and then you will place your filter here and you'll place a full water bucket in your filter place a deployer here an empty water bucket in the deployer place your retriever here and an empty bucket in the retriever then you will place your tubes here, 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 and all along the inside of that. Place your water here and here, and then you're going to need some red power wire here, and power your retriever like so. Then you place your water mills on your tubes, And after you place your timer, which you can actually set as low as 0 0.550 seconds, you are going to want to place more buckets in your deployer. You need at least as many buckets as you have water mills. The more you have, the faster the system will keep the water mills filled. So as you can see, our water mills are all filling up nicely and now we have an automatic water mill system. I find that this can handle at least uh, 14 of these, probably more. I would imagine that this could probably handle around 20 and that's with a full load using all of their energy. So I hope you like this tutorial. If you did, please click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.